YouTubers, welcome again. This is RDR back in Phoenix, Arizona, where we're going to do another uh, video shoot. Uh, we're going to do some uh, rounds in these nice, beautiful clay here. And my partner here, Josh, who's a very good shooter, he'll be aiming. And we're going to go through different calibers today. So we'll see how far they'll penetrate, and we'll go from there. Yeah, and uh, so the rounds we're going to start off with is going to be a 22. And then we're going to move our way up to a 9mm, a 380, a 40, and then a 5.56, and then we're going to go to 300 blackout, and then a 308 rifle, and then we're going to go into double out buck, and we're going to go into a hollow point slug. Um, we have three clays right here. Uh, they are 25 pounds each. What this is just going to do is we're going to show you from an entrance and the exit cavity. Um, also to see how far a certain type of caliber will go through the blocks and maybe if they stop we can you know try and get that jacket out of there um, but yeah let's go move on and we'll shoot the 22 first at these blocks all right viewers as you can see we always uh, stress uh, safety first okay make sure you have uh, your ear, ear protections here your eye protection of course Josh has his and then also you need to make sure that your uh, weapon is on safe uh, the round is empty in the chamber, and if it is, you treat every weapon as if it's loaded. Never point your weapon at anything you tend to fire. Keep your finger straight off the trigger until you tend to fire, and keep your weapon on safe until you intend to fire. So, safety is always paramount in whatever we do here, and we stress that to you and all you viewers out there that are like kind of, uh, you know, beginners with handguns, and even the uh, experienced ones, we tend to take it too serious that uh, every weapon's not uh, loaded, but they are sometimes. So. That's how accidents happen, so uh, make sure we, we do uh, everything safe, and uh, let's have some fun out here today. Okay, so Josh is going to start out with the 22 here. I, I'm, I'm betting that it just hits the first block and stays right there, doesn't even penetrate it. Yeah, I agree. I think it's going to go through uh, in that first block. So we're firing at 10 feet right now. Right. Every session is 10 feet. So he's going to take a good well-aimed shot, one shot apiece. Oh yeah, unload and show clear. All right, let's go down here and take a look at it and see if we're right, I guess. Oh, that looks a pretty good size hole. Man. Oh man, go ahead and explain that one. This is the, the entrance of your 22. You can see it kind of actually expanded outwards. Um, and uh, let's take a look and see where, where this came through, if it even went through. Oh, it went through the first block. You can see a tiny exit wound. Did it go to the second one? It went into the second one. Oh wow. So let's uh let's look at that one. Oh, and it stopped in the so second. It stopped. Wonder where it is. I can actually see it right so, here. So actually at 10 feet we're shooting the 22 and went through the first block, which is 25 pounds, and then went through the second block just barely. I wonder if I can get it. Just barely. Like, yep, yep, there it is right there. That's your your 22 round right there. There it is, the 22 round, about towards my uh my pointed finger, right about in the, about a half about a half an inch to an inch. Yeah. So it's a pretty good size hit. So now Josh has a 380 right here. Um. He's gonna shoot the 380 from the same 10 feet. Okay, we're gonna see how far it penetrates. I'm guessing it'll penetrate the uh, two blocks and probably uh, hit the third block, but won't penetrate that. I think, I think two blocks. Let's hope I can hit this the first time. Yeah. Okay. So if you look at here. It has a bigger cavity coming in at the entrance for the 380. Okay, so let's see how far back it went through. Uh, we were wrong. It went through the first one. Oh, it went through all three. Look how big of a exit cavity it, it uh, produced. Dang. So if you look here, it that's, went straight that's through. Clean. It went straight through. I ain't gonna find that one. So, yeah. So we were wrong on that one. That's at 10 feet, so it's 
pretty interesting what the 380 can do. Yeah. All right. We'll move on to the 9mm. All right, so now Ira has a 9mm Glock. He's shooting a Federal Premium 150 grain Hydroshock uh, jacketed hollow point. Oof. Damn, this shit. Hold on, let me fire that one. Back up. There you go. <laughs> it's to the left. Oh, man. All right. Let's see. Uh, look, you can see. You can yeah, see some of the. You can way. see some of the lead. Yeah, it went that way. Yep. It didn't get to. So it didn't touch the second. Oh, there oh. it is. It went to the third block. That's your nine millimeter. You know what it did? It went in there, right? And it just went all over the place. Yeah. It's what a did it go? Shot. Did it even hit the second one? Yeah, it's a hydro yep, shot. Yeah, there it is. It just. You can see in the second one right here. How it, it was turning in there. Yeah. So here's your nine millimeter. We'll be we'll clean all these off. Uh, yep. Whatever we collect inside this clay, we'll clean these off and we'll show you guys uh, for a better picture of what they look like. But you can see how bad uh, that tore this clay apart. That's pretty nasty. Yeah, freak. All right. Well. Okay, Josh is about to fire uh, the 40 here. He's gonna fire the Winchester 180 grain. Jacket hollow point. We're gonna see what happens. We're gonna fire the same distance we fired the others, 10 feet. Yeah. Uh, I'm thinking it's gonna go through all three clay blocks. Yeah. I agree. Uh, it's just gonna go straight through. It's gonna punch straight through that. Boom. Clear. Yes, sir. Want to make sure it's always clear. As you can see, there's some debris of the clay as the uh, bullet entered the uh, clay itself. Um, took a nasty uh, entrance in there. Yeah, I did. Uh, but it didn't penetrate the last no, one. No, sir, it's in the third one. But let's see. Same thing. Look. Oh, it's like right hold here. it together, man. And that's what your 40 does. And then you can see parts of the jacket right here in the second one. And then you and come to the third it, one. It's right there. And here's your jacketed hollow point. So it penetrated and uh, made a great uh, mess out of the first two clay. Yeah, look at that. And it stopped on the third clay, just right on the surface of the third clay. But uh, that's what you'd expect if it's a human being itself. Uh, you might as well say that uh, the organs are done. Yep. All right, so Ira now has a 5.56. Five, uh, that is 62 grain, uh, and it's a full metal jacket. And we're okay. live, right? We're live. All right, I, it's gonna go through all three, not without a doubt. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh. Safety clear? on. Are we clear? Clear. <laughs> so we always make sure it's safe. Oh. Ira destroyed this and the table. And he destroyed the table along with it. This freaking, it's a, I don't even know what this is. Completely just sprawled out. All right. However, I don't see, I think it just went under. I'm pretty sure it just went through the table. Yeah, what happened is I think it entered and it went underneath. And uh, we're definitely not going to shoot that again because we got to keep some of this for the next guns, wow. man. Come on, yeah, that, Kent. This is gone. Oh, this man. is literally... All right, now Josh is uh, going to go ahead and uh, take a shot at the clay again at 10 feet. We're going to use the uh, Cellar Bellets uh, 300 ACC Blackout Full Metal Jacket 124 grain. Uh, I'm guessing from the last one we shot, I'm guessing they'll go straight through all the clays. It'll probably destroy the first one right? like <laughs> the other one. So yeah. we'll see what happens. All right. All and right, by the make way, sure we're safe. Yes. I can shoulder this. 
I don't want the comments blowing up saying that I uh, committed a federal crime. You can shoulder this, even though it's just a stock tube. All right, I'm going live. What I tell you? Now, if you can see all the uh, fragmentation from the uh, clay itself, as the uh, round impacted the clay itself. Uh, oh man. Pretty much did the same thing as the 556 five, we fired. Uh, took out the whole clay and the table with it. So if you see, it went to the front and it just, uh, in the entrance or the uh, exit was on the side. So you can see how it just blew everything up. Did it go through? No. Nope. I think it did. Yeah, I see, I see an exit on the second one. But I don't no, no. see. No, it, it went this way. It went the exit it out. Went this out? Way. Oh man. It went out to the side, so it just made a big old cavity and just went an exit out to the side. With such high velocity, uh, it just Alright. So this is my brand new M1A SOCOM 16. I literally just bought this two days ago. Uh, so I've been dying to shoot it. Um, this is a really compact 308, 16.25 inch barrel with a Trigicon sight in the front, um, which is actually, this is one of the longest tenured military guns out there uh, for the United States. Reliable. Just keeps getting modified. How much um, does it weigh, Josh? It weighs 8.8 .8 pounds unloaded. That is pretty light. So, uh, complete polymer frame. Everything else will, you know, be your metal. Um, so, uh, this is gonna blow that first block apart. I I've been dying to shoot this thing. All right. Now, as you can see, Josh here's uh, been itching to do this uh, ever since uh, about four days ago. He sent me a text about when uh, he walked out of the store with this. He couldn't uh, leave home without it because it's his baby. Yep. So now he's going to blow a hole through this three clay blocks, and I believe it's just going to continue on. Yeah. All right. You ready? With the 308 velocity. All right, we're live. This thing will reach out and touch someone. Whoa. There you have it. <laughs> there is nothing left of the clay. So as you can see, there's all the debris out here. This is what the uh, round did to the first clay. Just uh, li literally blew the uh, blew it off the table. <laughs> I think it, it went in and it just uh, took another nose dive. Um, more clay on here. I mean that that 308 round really uh, oh, did man, its job. Ta table's cracked. Yeah, but uh, if you look, it just it went. There's another hole right here. Where did it go? But it um, missed the third block. I think it went high. No. Yeah, it went. It went through. So if you look at it, it went through. It destroyed the first clay block and really uh, destroyed the second clay block, exited out the back end of it, and basically uh, went up over the other, the third block. So, uh, yeah, Man, it, is, it did its job. So uh, for individuals out there that wanna know what, what it does, this is what it does to you. And we're shooting this at 10 feet, so Imagine uh, the velocity is coming out when it's further uh, further down range. So, uh, yeah. Uh, my boy Josh is about to fire this Winchester uh, Super X Double Odd Buck uh, at the clay at the same distance, 10 feet. I don't think there's any. There's not going to be any clay left over after this. One. No, I think it'll hit the first one and blow it up. But I think the others will be fine. Okay. I think. Well, we'll see. Probably blow the whole table off too. <laughs> We're live. This is your double lot buck. So here goes Josh. There he is. Please forgive us <laughs> because all the clays are gone. <laughs> I told you it'd stop in the first one pretty much. Ah, uh, yeah. As you can look in it, it's a whole bunch of uh. Uh, well, the know. second one's molded, so. <laughs> well. It went through the first, it went through the second, on the top, 
Yeah, it's pretty much stuck in the, in the second. Oh, uh, it's ripping apart. Yeah, there it is. Oh, man. No, no. Yeah. There's some right there, too. I didn't think it was going to go through. I, I, I did. I thought it was just going to destroy everything. There's three of them. I don't know where the rest are. Did you get them? No. They're not in there. This is molded together, dude. They just blew up. Hey, be careful, oh, though. This is one right here. All right, uh, Josh is going to shoot the uh, same thing, the Super X, rifle slug, hollow point, Winchester. Uh, we'll see what happens to uh, those three clays. I think it's going to blow up the uh, first two clay. Yeah, I agree. All right, we're live. I got pepper, dude. Look. Look at this. So, as you can see, <laughs> so make sure that's oh, uh, weapons all safe. Yeah, it's clear. Safe. All right, as you can see here, there's nothing left of the, uh, that first clay. And as well as the second clay, basically it just shattered the whole clay. <clears throat> now, if you can see this is just the whole cavity right here. Here's the hollow point. Yeah, and the hollow point stuck in the uh, clay. Yeah, that looks uh, pretty good. So, for anybody that says shotguns are not good home uh, home defense guns, uh, yeah, you might want to think twice about that. R D R. So that's pretty good. All right, so we have our calibers out here that we were able to stop with our clay. Um, so what we were able to stop was your 22, then you have your nine, your 40, your double out buck, which we got four out of that, and then we got our hollow point. But you can see there's your 22, pretty small. And then here's your Hydroshock, your nine millimeter. You can see how, uh, how nasty that looks. And then here's your 40, which was pretty clean. That's a JHP. Yeah, this is a, yeah, this your Jacko point. hollow point. And then you got your double out buck, which th these are just the four pellets that four out of the out of the nine that we could get. And then you got your hollow point slug. But overall. I hope this is a good demonstration uh, using the clay. It was a fun video to shoot uh, of an entrance and the exit cavity and how velocity does make a difference in the type of caliber that you're shooting it, just by the, the cavity itself telling you how much it's pushing through that clay block. Um, I just hope it's a good example for you guys. Yeah, we didn't find the other rounds, the uh, bigger rounds, the 5.56, five, the 300, or the uh, 308. Um, they're nowhere to be found. As you can see in the video, it just literally destroyed the uh, blocks. So it went in and exited uh, different ways. So we couldn't find that, but it's a good demonstration. So I hope you guys have a good day. Um, and I hope you guys would subscribe and uh, tune into our, our next video that we're gonna be shooting.